Hi. Um, welcome everyone to this Monday Live. We're going to be talking about a little line that you may have heard um, often when you audition, or maybe you read it in the briefing for your tapes when you uh, make tapes. And the line says, just be you, or you're going to the audition and you're preparing and you're learning your lines and you're rehearsing and you're making a choice and you're working really hard and you come with a proposition and you're proud and you're in that audition room and the casting director says, just be you. And you're like, well, what do you mean? Like, this is a character and I've worked on the character and I've worked on some propositions and I'm doing something, but I am being natural. What, what does that mean to just be me? I am me. Like, I, I don't get it. And so they're like, if we just do less or just, just, just be you just, 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 and, and they throw it as if it's obvious and you might be receiving as if like, I, I have no idea what to do here. You're asking me to be me, but I am me. So it can be very confusing. And I hear a lot of actors be frustrated about that because just be you seems like a, like what you would want to be as an actor. But then if you're being thrown that, it means maybe you're not being you and you have no access and then you try and you do another take, but it feels terrible inside. And so it can be very confusing when you're hearing just be you. And so you may have been working harder about that. You may have been thinking, okay, I need another acting class or another acting book, or I need to talk to my shrink, or I need to join an actor circle, or I need to go to do more scene class, or I need to rehearse more, or I need to do more camera class. I don't know. You, you might have tried a lot of things and yet that little place where people t tell you to just be you still feels like a very challenging thing to hear, to be, to understand, to know what to do about. It's confusing. So we're going to look at the root cause of what's really happening here. It's, it's definitely not about you need more acting classes, quite the contrary. Actually, it's really not about you needing to improve. It's not about there's something wrong with you. It's not about you need to be better. Um, it's not that you're worse than other actors. It's not that you're not good enough. It's none of that, because actually you're perfect. So if it's none of that, what is it? Well, I'm gonna have to go back a little bit and go, go back in history and um, go over a little bit what happened to you in childhood. So most probably, if you were born in, you know, in, in recently, in the last, you know, 60 or 70 years, you have been conditioned, you have been programmed. And what does that mean? That means that you have been asked by your caregivers, so your parents and your teachers, to think a certain way, to feel a certain way, to behave a certain way, to learn a certain way, to, to just be a certain way. And you haven't been encouraged to be you. You've actually been asked repeatedly, slash every single day, multiple times a day, to not be you. So let me give you some examples. When you were a newborn and you were in your parents' arms and you were crying, they probably shushed you. So let's go over that. You're a newborn, you're having feelings, it's pretty terrifying to be a newborn, right? You, you are hungry, you can't speak, you're wet, you can't speak, you have body pains, you can't speak, you're in pain, in fear, you're experiencing a lot of different energies and new energies. So you cry, which is what nature <laughs> planted into your nervous system. So it releases the energy of the stress that you're feeling and your caregivers, the ones that are there to protect your life, to make you survive, to feed you, to give you a roof, say, shh, they tell you not to cry. A little bit later, when you're going to feel anger, they're going to tell you, don't talk to me like that. Don't be angry. Stop yelling. So you're being told not to cry, not to be angry. When you're being scared as a child and you say, I'm afraid, they'll tell you, don't be afraid. 
So that's another feeling that's natural because nature planted it in you and you're being told not to be afraid, right? When you're sad, you're being told not to be sad. When you're happy, I was just in a session with an actress who was saying she was, you know, happy and flamboyant and was dancing and, and being happy at home. You're usually asked to turn it down. So if you see what we just said, happy, too loud, angry, shut up or go to your room, sad, shh, don't cry, scared, don't be afraid. So you have been asked to not feel your feelings equals you have been asked, trained, educated, programmed, wired, conditioned, indoctrinated to not be you, to not feel what you feel. Because if you did feel what you felt, there would have been consequences, punishment, withdrawal of love, humiliation, etc., etc. So what did you do as a child? If you felt that being you with your feelings was going to be painful, that mommy or daddy were going to take away their love, take away the safety, take away the validation, take away the giggles, and that it was going to make it more difficult, well, you were smart. And so you said, oh, I'm not going to feel my anger anymore. I'm not going to feel my fear anymore. I'm not going to feel my sadness anymore. I'm not going to be truthful to me anymore. I'm going to put a mask on that and I'm going to make them happy by feeling what they feel so I can guarantee that I'll be loved, I'll be safe, and that they'll continue to take care of me the way I need to be taken care of. Because if they don't take care of me, I die as a baby. So it was very smart of you to suppress all of your feelings in order to be taken care of appropriately. Well done. Then you went to school and at school you were told to think a certain way, to behave a certain way, to be even socially a certain way. You were told to sit down, to be quiet, to do what you're told, to obey. And if you didn't, same thing, there was harsher consequences, shame, humiliation, public humiliation. Maybe you wouldn't belong. Maybe you're not smart. Maybe you're rejected. And belonging is a big part of our needs as a human being. So what did you do at school? Turned it down too. I'm going to think like I'm told. I'm going to do what I'm told. I'm going to behave how I'm told to behave. No access to my truth. Can't be me because it's too hard of a price to pay. The punishment is too big. It's too scary. So great. You did that. You adapted as a child to what was requested of you. But now here's the problem. You're an artist. And if you're not going to be you as an artist, there's really not going to be any art, right? So when the casting director is saying, just be you, you have no access to you. Because since your first day on this planet as a human being, you have been asked to never be you, to never feel you, to never think as you do, to never behave as you do, to never do what you want. So how could you possibly be you? How could you possibly prepare your audition being you? You know too well that that's not safe. You've been raised not to do that. So when you take your audition, what do you do? You bypass yourself, you abandon yourself, because that's not safe. Whatever I think, feel, or behave, or do, or want, not safe. Learn that every single day of my life. However, what does work, where I do get validated, loved, and safety, and recognition, is when I do what other people want to do, want me to do, what they want, when I please them. So you take your audition and you think not for yourself. You think, what do they want? How would, how would they want me to do this? How, how can I make them love me? How can I be better than others? You're thinking safety. You're not thinking authenticity. You're not thinking art. You're not feeling from your heart and your soul. That's no longer accessible for you. Does that make sense, you guys? So what's happening, of course, is you fabricate a performance from that mask, that social mask that you've evolved with, 
from that adaptive behavior that you were that you grew with that saved you from all of your coping mechanisms from your ego but you are no longer in the equation so what do you do this is like a pretty grim picture well the first thing is you realize this is not your fault there's nothing wrong with you it's not about you needing to study more acting it's the opposite it's not about learning more what people want it's about unlearning my habit of trying to please people and coming back here where i am where am i what do i feel what do i think what do i do what do i want who am i and of course right now just asking that you won't have an answer because your architecture's been unplugged from that since you were born so the work to do as an artist and as an actor more specifically but we work with mostly actors but with all kinds of artists is to actually do the work of unplugging your direct connection to the other nervous systems to do what they want unplug that unlearn that it's a pattern inside of your nervous system it's like an architecture that's been built that way it's going to go there whether you want it or not so there needs to be some work to unplug that it's unwiring work we have to undo that muscle right so that's one thing and the other thing that we do in the work we do of actors and artists is to one side undo and the other side is to wake up your instinct wake up the you that's been asked to sleep since you were born because it's still there nature planted it in you you have your dna you're unique for now for in the past and in the future there's no one else like you so your art depends on you actually yes showing up as you but since that's been taken away from you and you have abandoned that part of you because it was the safest thing to do as a little child now if you are an artist i would even say if you're a human but let's say that if you are an artist without you you can't do your job you cannot be you you can't show up so if that makes sense and if you want to start finding you back if you want to go on that journey of unplugging from all the people pleasing from trying to look good from trying to be right from trying to do the scene right from trying to be better than others from trying to be loved if you want to unplug from all of that fakeness and come back into who am i who did i come to be in this lifetime what is my soul about what do i want what's my essence and to be able to show up yes just being you because that's what it will feel like when you unplug from what's not you and you train yourself to come back home and be in your instinct in your nervous system not coping not adapting not pleasing just really being it will feel extremely easy to be you and it will feel extremely alive and satisfying for you and for the casting director to watch you because you'll actually be you you won't be faking and that's when casting directors want to sign your contract right away no callbacks they'll rewrite things for you they'll change the gender the accent the race the size the age it happens all the time in our community because when you show up they see you they feel you they experience you they feel you're alive and they know that will carry the character and the story and will touch the audience when you can't be you in that moment in that audition they can't feel you they can't experience you they can't have an experience of you they can only experience your faking your coping mechanisms your adaptive mechanisms your ego you're not in the room that's why they say just be you they don't know how to tell you how to be you only you know 
So it's your job to do that work of unplugging from all these external authorities so that you can come back in your own authority. So you can just show up and be you. And acting becomes easy again, playful, satisfying, and extremely impactful. And that's, yes, when people see you and want to work with you no matter what. So if you look at the testimonials in our community, you can look at it on our website on to be or not to act dot com or even here on on the on the Facebook group or on Instagram. There's a lot of interviews where you see people share how different they feel after resetting themselves to be themselves and how the results change, how it changes everything, because suddenly it's easy and you're just there and people just see you and so they want to work with you it's that easy all right so it was a pleasure to connect around this thank you for um taking care of yourself for wanting to put some art out there that comes from a place of authenticity there's so much content out there that's shallow and empty and dilute of any interest so I'm grateful to you and um, if you're interested by this you can type free in the comments and uh, we will send you some um, information about how you can start to do this work all right thank you guys bye